Good evening, YouTube. Heir of Norska here, I guess, tonight. Anyway, I'm coming to you more as a storyteller. So, Wolfric the Wanderer, how does he get his name? Well, he was wandering south with his armies, and he started to come into the lands of men, into Thousand Moon, more specifically, and he opened his book of hunts, and he saw a story about a creature, a legendary creature, the Soul Eaters of Thousand Moon. He had to defeat this creature to bring greatness to his hordes and to rally more warriors to his cause as they pushed into the realms south and into the squishy Southmen in order to reclaim what rightfully belongs only to the strongest of men who serve the Chaos Gods. And so here we have Wolfric the Wanderer astride his war mammoth, and he has already subjugated his, well, rather vomitrocious Norskin cousin, Throg. And so Throg has come along on the hunt for the Thousand Moon Soul Eater, and that Soul Eater is actually me. <laughs> yes, I'm playing as the Soul Eater. This is going to be in the And We Became Them mod by Holy Pilgrim, where you can play with the monsters from the Norskin Monster Hunts in multiplayer. You can see a couple of uh, Skin Wolf Werekin here. So let me show you the Thousand Moon Soul Eaters army here. So here he is, and he's got a rather nuclear rock here that I will show you in action soon. I've got a bunch of gore herds, ungore herds, a couple of best of gore herds. I do have a Bray Shaman Lore of Wild for summoning another Cygore, or potentially using Devolve. And um, I don't think I brought Traitor Kin because it was just too much. Uh, but I've got a bunch of Centigors and Poison Warhounds here. Now, as for the Norskin forces, let's take a look what they've brought. Uh, the Norskin forces have their Skin Wolves. They've got Marauders. Uh, they have Fimir Warriors. My first, uh, yeah, look, look, look at what the Soul Eater does there. His rocks are pretty crazy. Not meant for a single target, mind you. So I'm going to start targeting the larger, juicy blobs of Norskin infantry. And you can see that the Thousand Moon Soul Eater causes enormous damage to infantry units within range. Now, they have a whole bunch of javelins, and I'm going to have to kill these javelins to have any prayer of protecting the Soul Eater. But, of course, Wolfric is on the hunt. And he wants that Soul Eater. Look at this quad mammoth unit that they brought too. So many mammoths. And we're going to see uh, Wolfric's forces pushing forward. They see the Soul Eater on the hill. It's a matter of resolve. Can they withstand his unholy barrage from another world long enough to come in and be effective in melee? The damage is mounting. So we take a look here. The Soul Eater already racking up over 100 kills and it is quickly rising. The Marauder Hunters with Javelins being quickly doused out of the fight, and that makes up a significant portion of the anti-large capabilities of the Norskin armies. The Skin Wolf Werekin were attempting to get to him early and use their anti-large to try and shut him down, but the Soul Eater's forces protected him and used his vantage point here in order to rain death down upon the Norskins, who were jealous of his power and glory. <laughs> and his power is immense. <laughs> But Wolfric is not one to be easily deterred. He orders his mammoths and throg forward to go break the lines of the beastmen, these creatures of the woods. And they're able to push their way through to the Soul Eater, and they land the first mighty blow on him. But not without resistance. The beastmen forces will start to collapse in and make their approach more difficult. And ignoring the painful hits of the mammoth, the Soul Eater continues to throw his otherworldly rocks and cause tremendous damage. But Wolfric wants to lead his forces to victory, and so we're going to see him plowing on ahead, and the forces of Norska start to really push through the lines and starting to deal damage straight to the pride and joy of the Beastmen, which is their soul leader. And there are many Norskan souls to be had here if he can defeat them. But Wolfric has been on many great hunts. He's learned to not fear these great beasts, and he's going to take his own great beast in in an attempt to bring him down. Let's just take a look at the damage that the Soul Eater has inflicted with 722 kills, and that number is sure to climb as he sees a blob over here. Probably going to end up doing more damage to his own beast men, but the Norskin forces must be stopped, and the Soul Eater racks up even more death and destruction. But at this point, the Centigors that were protecting him begin to rout, and the Soul Eater is going to become a lot more vulnerable to the attacks of the giant Norskin monsters. The lines of the Beastmen find themselves strained to hold back Throg and his Fmir warriors, becoming very difficult. 
to keep everything at bay. Now, granted, Air could have done a little bit better job at microing these troops into battle as they're badly needed right now, but, you know, <laughs> that's another story. And Air's also wishing that he would have brought Traitor Kin right now in order to deal damage to all these single unit models that are up here. Now, I summoned a little baby Saigor in an attempt to try and keep my precious Salzen Moon Soul Eater alive, but Wolfric's hunting prowess is proving too much for Air's Miss Micro. And the Salzen Moon Soul Eater starts to take javelins from the Marauder Horseman. Though he is able to get free for one last mighty throw in which many Norskins die, but not before the beast himself starts to succumb to the wounds. But these Marauder Horsemen will pay a price, a dear price, for trying to bring down the beast. And he lashes out at them with some of his last moments. And uh, let's not lie, his lashing out was pretty severe, and they're going to be pretty happy that Wolfric kept him from throwing that other rock. And the Soul Eater's down, and now all Wolfric has to do is clean up the battlefield to claim his prize. And without the leadership of the Soul Eater, the rest of the Beastmen surely can't hold their ground against the mighty beast Norska and their leader. Hope you all enjoyed this one. This was fun. I'm going to do more of these themed hunts if you enjoy it, and probably even if you don't enjoy it. I mean, seriously, like if everybody came on here and was like, gnashing their teeth and screaming at me that it was the worst thing they'd ever seen. Obviously, I won't do that, but um, I think if you all enjoy this, we'll do more of these. It's kind of a fun battle. Wolfric was on the Great Hunt. He's able to claim his prize, and it's just a, a, a fun way to uh, play multiplayer and do something different. You guys need to go check out the mod. Like I said, it's made by Holy Pilgrim. It's called And We Became Them, and it allows you to play your own custom battles and multiplayer battles with the monsters from the Great Hunts. Now, it would be pretty cool to see a version of this that makes these things unlockable in campaign. I don't know if that's something they're working on, but I do know they're working on other things, uh, Holy Pilgrim and Indie Pride and some others, and it sounds like it's going to be pretty awesome. I can't wait to see some of the mods they come up with. Those guys love the game, and uh, they obviously have a lot of good influence on it. I'm going to see my summon Psych. We're about to give way. Oh, man. Soul Eater looks like he's got a bit of a broken jaw there. Too many twisted souls. <laughs> it looks hilarious. Just laying there. Anyway, that's going to be the end of my forces, folks. There's really no leadership left for anything I have. So the Soul Eater caused tremendous damage. It was quite a show. And many of Wolfric's men died in the attempt. But Throg and Wolfric come out the victors. And to the victors go the spoils. Let's fast forward to the end of this so I can show you all these statistics. There's just a few units of mine hanging around in a valiant defeat. 863 Norskin souls eaten by the Salzen Moon Soul Eater. That is definitely my, probably my favorite monster out of all the ones that are in there to play as. Just causes tremendous damage and it's absolutely hilarious in every way. Do hope you all enjoyed this one. Hey, Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. Like I said, you hit that notification button, you might find yourself getting a Steam card. That's right, when I upload videos, if you've subscribed and you've hit the notification, you might show up and see a Steam code down in the chat. And if you get it, it's all yours. It's about 20 bucks worth of Steam fun. You can go out and get yourself some. So thanks for all the support. We're nearly there to the 250,000. When we get there, I have some celebrations planned, some special videos a long live stream, and yes, some more giveaways. So you all hang in there, help me out, and I will see you there when we make it to the big celebration. Air of Carthage, signing out now.